Okay, I'm back. I'm back just to show you a few little things. Because you'd probably be wondering, what's that guy on about? So, in the custom mode here, I'll we'll just move, this is a kick, I'll move that up and down, and you'll see that that moves that up and down. See? Moves that up and down. So that's in the customer mode, custom mode. And they're all, I've set those up to right up there. And so, but the signals are coming back in through the desk, and they go out through my, they go out through my left and right, to my matrixes, and that's why I can mute different speakers. I use my, sorry, not my matrixes. I use my uh, yeah, matrixes. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yep, yeah, matrix one and two. They're my matrix one and two. Had to stop and think then. Early in the morning, eh? And so the way I do this. Because they're both clock masters. I'll show you up in here. So you can see that the input device is a Q16. Even though the request block size is 1024, I can get that down to about 32 for tracking. And the output device is set to the Q32. Over here, you'll see I'm not using the aggregate. I'm using the Q16 as my microphone, my input, etc. And the Q32 is my set. I'm not using, I'm not using the aggregate. And you'll see that the internal clock of the 16, it's got this internal clock. We click on and the Q32 is using so the both the internal clock. So both of these desks are using their own internal clock. The Reaper is sorting it out for me. If I click on my MIDI devices, all disabled, but it's all written down in here. Control services, you have to add those. hope this helps.